this is a surveillance video video you will hear about where the sister of the alleged victim threw a fake punch at her sister. Ms. Heard acting out being punched, responding to the fake punch, and the two laughing about it. So you have the alleged victim and the sister laughing about a fake punch. Would anyone ever joke about that if there had been actual abuse, much less Ask yourself, would a sister ever joke with an alleged victim about being punched by her husband? Johnny Depp is expected to retake the stand after ex-wife Amber Heard is done testifying at their defamation trial, with two other high-profile witnesses expected to appear. Amber's sister, Whitney Enriquez, has been added to the witness list for the final stretch of the trial, along with actress Ellen Barkin. Barkin will be called to the witness stand via video, and Whitney, who has been seen on camera in some of the trial videos, will be physically present. The bad thing is, whatever these two witnesses will say is almost predictable. For one, Whitney being Amber's sister will definitely side with her. On the other hand, Barkin has always publicly shown she hates Depp since the day their relationship failed. Will Amber find a witness who is not biased to help argue her case? It's hard to tell, and time is not on her side. Let's find out more. There are celebrity divorce proceedings, and then there's this saga that's been unfolding over the years for Johnny Depp and Amber Heard. Their legal battle has really heated up as the defamation trial in Virginia rages on and includes wild testimonies from both actors and their teams. And Amber's sister is expected to follow suit and testify in the trial. But she and Depp's legal team will likely want to talk about very different moments. Court proceedings in the defamation trial opposing the two stars will resume after a week-long hiatus. Judge Penny Askarit informed both parties and the jury of the break at the start of the trial. Amber will continue giving testimony after the case resumes. She's already spoken extensively about her troubled relationship with Depp and detailed alleged physical fights. The court heard a harrowing account of an alleged sexual assault on her during a brutal and bloody altercation in Australia in 2015. According to reporting by Law & Crime, Depp will also be called back to the witness stand as part of Amber's case. The jury will also hear from Whitney Enriquez, the actress's sister, and actor Ellen Barkin, with whom Depp had a brief relationship in the 1990s. Since the hearing began, something has stood out. Depp's endless list of witnesses. That cannot be said of Amber. The truth is, she's been struggling to compile a formidable list of potential witnesses and was even forced to add her sister as a witness at the last minute. Most of her accusations remain verbal and nothing more than that. While Depp, on his part, has accounted for every accusation he made against his wife with a string of witnesses backing him up, Depp's attorneys presented recorded testimony and testimony from remote witnesses as they continued his case against ex-wife Amber Heard. The latest witness came after his attorneys presented recorded depositions from Los Angeles Police Department officers who responded to Depp and Amber's home after a fight, as well as a doorman and a former agent. Actor Ellen Barkin, who dated Depp in the late 1990s, is expected to be a witness for the defense. As per reports, Ellen will substantiate Amber's testimony about Depp's abusive behavior and recount incidents where she was allegedly subjected to abuse at the hands of the Pirates of the Caribbean star. Ellen has previously testified against Depp in a British libel trial in 2020, which he lost. The two actors dated briefly in the late 1990s when they were filming Fear and Loathing in Las Vegas together. Both Ellen and Whitney previously testified on behalf of Amber in Depp's British libel lawsuit case against the tabloid The Sun. Barkin reportedly testified that Depp threw a wine bottle in her direction during a heated moment in a hotel room. However, the Rum Diary actor denied the accusation, saying that the now 68-year-old actress held a grudge against him. In her testimony in this trial, Amber has claimed that her sister Whitney also once came into Depp's line of fire, and she feared he would push her down the stairs. Experts believe Whitney will substantiate that story in her testimony. One thing Depp fans cannot fathom is Barkin's presence in the case. Considering they bitterly separated over 20 years ago, according to reports, the Sea of Love actress will corroborate Amber's testimony about Depp's abusive behavior and recount incidents in which she was allegedly abused at the hands of the actor. 
Barkin, who was Depp's girlfriend in the late 1990s, testified during her defamation trial that she had once thrown a bottle of wine across the hotel room at him. The Pirates of the Caribbean star called the claim untrue, asserting that the veteran actress held a grudge against him and added, I don't have an anger management problem. Depp was the lead in the film in question, while Ellen had a small role as a witness, and things quickly turned romantic between the two actors once they started working together. While speaking in court in 2020, Depp talked about his time with Ellen. He said they had been friends for several years before a sexual element began, while working on Fear and Loathing in Las Vegas. In the wake of Ellen's split from Gabrielle Byrne, she and Depp were intimate for intermittent months during the filming of the movie. However, things changed when Depp realized that he and Ellen were not on the same page about their future together. She wanted more than a relationship. She wanted a proper relationship with me, and I didn't want that, the actor said under oath. I didn't feel the same way about her that she felt about me, and I guess from that point on, she got very, very angry, Depp stressed. The Fantastic Beasts actor denied wrongdoing and called Ellen's claims false. In the time since their relationship, the two have apparently had no communication outside of court appearances. Amber's sister, who lived in one of Depp's Los Angeles penthouses for a time, has been on the witness list since the beginning, and her name has already come up during the trial so far. LAPD officers testified that they were called to the LA penthouse in 2016 on a domestic violence call, but did not find evidence of a crime. And during Depp's UK trial, Whitney testified to seeing bruises on her sister's face early in her relationship with Depp. The Aquaman star also brought up her sister while describing the one time she admits to physically striking Depp. During a heated argument in March 2015, Amber testified that Depp swung at Whitney when she tried to break up a fight between the couple. Whitney's back was to the staircase and Johnny swings at her, she testified, and I swung at him, she continued. In all of my relationships to date with Johnny, I hadn't landed a blow, and I for the first time hit him, like actually hit him. Square in the face, she added, he didn't push my sister down the stairs. Depp's team has also referenced Whitney, alleging that she and Amber could be seen in a video laughing and reenacting a fake punch, which the actor's lawyers argued was practice for Amber to feign abuse from Depp. The first witness called for Amber was Dr. Hughes, who detailed multiple incidents of sexual assault and violence that drive angry actors alleges Depp committed against her. Depp denies all such allegations. Tesla chief executive Elon Musk and actor James Franco both appear on Amber's witness list to be interviewed via webcam. However, it is believed that neither is expected to attend. No reason has been given. Lucky for the duo under Virginia law, non-residents of the state cannot be forced to participate in court proceedings. Amber dated Musk for a little under a year after splitting from Depp in May of 2016. She is close with Franco, with whom Depp told the court he suspected she had an affair. There are dozens of less famous names on Amber's witness list, including David Kipper, a doctor who treated Depp for what he described as an opioid addiction that developed after he was prescribed painkillers for a leg injury. Dr. Kipper attended to Depp at Amber's Australia home shortly after part of Depp's finger was partially severed during an incident in 2015. Tina Newman, a production assistant at Walt Disney, is also listed as a defense witness. Depp has claimed Amber's Washington Post article cost him his role in the Pirates of the Caribbean franchise, while the actress's team said Disney was already planning to drop him. Unfortunately, most of these witnesses haven't shown their full willingness to come and testify in favor of Amber. Is it that they know she stands no chance in this hearing? Let us know in the comments below. Meanwhile, celebrity divorce attorney Laura Wasser is due to appear, as is Amber's friend Raquel Pennington, who shares a name with a UFC fighter. The MMA star, who goes by Rocky, has vented frustration at being dragged into the case by people confusing the pair on social media. Depp concluded his testimony, saying he was the victim of domestic violence in their relationship and was broken by the time their marriage fell apart. His fourth day on the witness stand ended with his attorneys playing audio from a conversation that took place after Amber had secured a restraining order against him in 2016. The Pirates of the Caribbean star said he agreed to his ex-wife's request to meet in the San Francisco hotel room because he thought she might retract her accusation that he had abused her. In the recording, Depp proposed the couple issue a joint letter saying they loved each other and that the media had created a storm around them. The suggestion was an attempt to find a peaceful settlement, Depp said. 
Amber resisted the idea and challenged him to go public with his claim that he was the one who had suffered abuse. Tell the world, Johnny, she said. Tell them I, Johnny Depp, a man, I'm a victim too of domestic violence. It's been ugly and revealing, yet we are not done. More is to come. Professionally, Depp has recently started booking new film roles, while Amber will appear in Aquaman 2, set to premiere on March 17, 2023. The hearing will go on for a few more weeks, and we intend to bring you every bit of it. So be sure to subscribe to our channel so that you don't get to miss any of our future coverage.